What's up guys, Sam from Cubi Studios here, and we are back in another episode of Millennium Duels Expert Mode. We are in the final five, starting it off with Bronk Stone and his Stone Gear deck. Oh, I get it! It's a Stone Gear deck because his last name is Stone. Ah, that's the, that's where the deck comes from, so it's probably just a Gear deck, but his name is in it. Clever, because I don't think anyone else gets their name in the deck. But as we get started with the final five here, I still, of course, love to hear you guys' feedback in the comments below. I'm always responding, always checking those out. Let me know what you guys are thinking as we're heading forward here. Of course, if you want to help me keep moving forward, you can check out the links in the description below where you can support me on patreon.com slash Studios. I have decided to use the Mermail deck for no specific reason, really. I just wanted to use the... Oh, good. Start off with the Dragon Ruler. That's a great start to any duel. Actually, that Dragon Ruler has a really low attack. Oh, what is this? That's a tank. Oh, level 8. XYZ monster on the first turn. Well, look at that. What is your effects? Summon special tokens? Okay. Go ahead. What a phenomenal first turn by this dude. But guess who also has a Dragon Ruler that will be... Uh... 100 attack points. No, it's the same attack. But what, do you have an effect that'll deal with him? What is his effect? Once per turn, you can detach material to special summon two mecha beasts while you control a token. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. Or card effects. Once per turn, you contribute one to target one card on the field and destroy the target. Ah, crap. Wasn't that obnoxious? If this is special summon one mermail monster from your deck, its effects are negated. You cannot activate any spell cards. Well, how unfortunate is this? Because if I'm going to attack him, I gotta get rid of these tokens. Oh my god, that's such a good effect. Because he can tribute one of the tokens, so even if I destroy both of them, he'd still be able to destroy monsters next turn. I can't believe he got this out in the very first turn. I guess summon this in attack position, just so I can... Right? Because if I were to special summon this, I'd have to get rid of both of them. This card's effect is to send a monster to the graveyard, which is really not what I need right now. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of one of these tokens. And then when we win this destroyed, I get to special summon a card. Which will be nice, I guess. Special summon one more my monster from your deck. Its effects are negated. I don't really need to do that right now. Let me see real quick what's in my... Okay, I can't check my XYZ deck during his turn, I guess. There's three more tokens just to continue. Well, it's not three more. It's three total just to continue his obnoxious effect. Well, the good news is he has so many tokens on the field, he can't actually activate another harder effect. No. Yes, I will special summon. Who shall I special summon? This guy? I like him. I like the idea of summoning him, because he's got a higher attack. You. Mermel Abyss Lead. Abyss Lead? Activate the effect of a card. What's... Oh, yeah, it'd be this thing. I'm gonna put no for now. Can he use that effect more than once? Oh, he cannot. But, I won't be able to destroy... Hmm. I won't be able to get rid of his token, both of his tokens, so I won't be able to attack this card. Oh, he won't be able to destroy it, though, by using the effect, because he won't be able to get tokens out in the field anymore. Never mind. That's not a huge crisis. I mean, target one level three or lower. In your graveyard special summon it and face up defense position? Sure. There's no real... I guess I do think I probably have an XYZ level 3 card in the deck. What cards do I have in my XYZ deck? Let's check that out first and foremost. I got... You, three level 3 monsters during the player's turn when an opponent targets exactly one mermail monster. You control for an attack with... The uh, detach one XYZ material that effect now targets this card. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one Mermel monster in your graveyard and special summon it. That's not great. Two level seven. This card is face up in the field. This card has XYZ material. Level five or higher monsters cannot attack. Ooh, that's okay, I guess. Wait, what's this? It's only 1600 attack, but it has a super high defense, so that's nice. What does this do? This card is... This card is sent to the graveyard and you can special summon one mermail monster from your hand. Or should I summon him? If it is in your hand, you can banish a total of two water and or dragon type monsters from your hand and your graveyard. You can discard this card and one water monster to the graveyard. Send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is banished, you can add one water type monster from your deck to your hand. 
I see the advantages of this. The monster effect that was activated on your opponent's side of the field. Okay. This will at least prevent effect activations. That's nice. I like that. And it increases his attack. 3,100. Special summon one more of my monster from your deck. Its effects are negated. You cannot activate any spell cards. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. Destroy this card during your opponent's next end phase. After activation. So next end phase, would that be his turn? I think it would be. Yes. I'm still going to activate this. Select monster to special summon from your deck. I could get him, and then I could summon my uh, my level 7. Level 5 or higher monsters can't attack. That seems pretty good. What do you do? Let's get him out. Even if I don't, that's just still a high level of attack I would like to have on the field. Okay, and then I will consider this. What is this? 2800. Once per turn, you can detach, negate the effects of all face up monsters your opponent currently controls that have less attack than this card. He's, it's very much about already being the strongest thing in the field. You can discard three other water monsters to the graveyard, especially some of this card from here when you do. I would tribute a monster to send a card to the graveyard. I'm not really interested in that offer, but thank you. And what is your, oh, it's effects negated anyway. So here's what we shall do. You shall attack one of these. You shall attack the other one. I'm not going to XYZ summon for the, uh, the thing. I was considering it. Destroy battle or card effect. Would this be destroyed by card effect? I'll see. I mean, I guess it won't let me activate it if it's not the case. If you don't get some good summons here, Brock, I might just wipe the floor with you real quick. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... Activate the effect of a card. Oh, shit. Special summon the monsters that sent from the graveyard and then inflict 500 damage. I'm gonna activate this because then I get to keep this card. That's how this works, right? And it does 500 damage and I get to keep it. How fantastic! Alright, I'm gonna switch you back to attack position and then let's just try and win here. What is this? Equip to a mermaid monster, it gates 800 attack. When a trap effect that was activated on your opponent's side of the field resolves. Oh, yeah. If you want to also prevent... Should I equip? If I equipped you, there's a chance it gains 800 attack that you can destroy this defense position monster. And then if you do, I can probably win, right? What's this defense? 1,000. What's the math on it? What's the verdict? I... The game's gonna add it up for me. I don't have to do that shit. And it's gonna be too short. Not enough, but we're close. I can't summon this because everything's on the field. Damn. That's fine, though. I liked it. I could normal summon it by getting rid of these two. But that will have to wait. I also am right now currently... Pre I can prevent him from activating trap cards. I can... He can't use monster effects. And he can't use trap cards. Uh, I guess that is technically... A monster effect. It's not negated, though. It's on the field. 3,000 defense. Ooh, what is this? Are you going to prevent spell cards? The spell effect that was activated in your opponent's... Oh, now you can't do anything but lose. I like this. I'm also going to equip you with this. Why does the monster effect one only 400? I mean, I guess it would be kind of OP, because monster effects are really strong and stuff. But you have over 3,000 defense. So you have only 3,000 attack, so I'm just going to use that. Just for good measure, you will attack the other one. Is that special summon? No, it's not. Okay. And then you'll win, just because I feel like it. Is the Mermail deck good? And I just forgot about it completely? <laughs> that was so good! I I should use that deck more often. Maybe I'll use it in the next duel. I, like, totally forgot about this deck. Bronx Stone, you goofy-looking motherfucker. He's got, like, a face on his shirt, but he has failed. Resonance device, target two face-up monsters you control with the same type and attribute. Change one of their levels to the current level of the other until the end phase. The Reliable Guardian, increase one face-up monster's defense by 700 points until the end of this turn. Okay. Corridor of Agony. Ooh, are those all knives? That looks fun. Monsters that were special summoned from the main deck cannot activate their effects. Their effects are negated, and they cannot declare an attack as long as they remain face-up on the field. But this is actually... Oh, it's not that great. Special summon from the main deck? That's... Never mind, that's not good. It's kind of actually... It's... 
weird to summon special summon monsters from the main deck. If this were just special summoned in general, it'd be super strong. It's not, though. Try Fortress Ops. It's like a dinosaur. Low attack, though. During the player's turn, if your opponent summoned three or more monsters this turn, you can special summon this card from your hand. This card is special summoned this way. It is unaffected by other card effects, but loses 500 defense during each player's standby phase. What a waste. That's such a specific effect activation. No thanks. Elemental Hero Neos. Well, we all know who this is, and I've got like 17 of these over the course of the years. Thanks, I'm glad I got another one. Why is there no limit on getting three monsters? Dimension Slice. When a monster is special summoned to your side of the field, except during the damage step, target one face up monster your opponent controls, banish that target. If the summon is an XYZ summon, you can activate this card at the turn it was set. Fancy. This card looks cool. Splendid Rose. It's pretty. Once per turn, you can remove from play one plant-type monster in your graveyard to have the attack of one face-up monster your opponent controls until the end phase. This card attacks during the same battle phase. You can remove from play one plant monster in your graveyard to have the attack of this card and attack once again. Oh, I see. You get to attack twice if you do that. That's not too bad. Serpent Knight Dragon, a dragon created from the soul of a wicked knight. Would you sacrifice two monsters to get a 2300, 2350 attack? I don't think so. Sounds lame. Fairy's Hand Mirror. When your opponent activates a spell card that targets exactly one monster and no other cards in the field, target another card that would be an appropriate target. That spell now targets the new target. What a collection of cards. I'll Although I will grant that it wasn't really that much of a duel anyway, so... Alright, that is the end of another episode. We are now in the final four. Tune in next time as I take on Kathy Catherine who is a re really weird character. I don't know, is she, does she dress up like a cat or is she a cat woman? It's kind of weird, but I'm sure some people are super into this character. She's using a Sphinx Dex, which I actually think is really cool because I remember getting that card when I went to like the Yu-Gi-Oh movie, the Great Pyramid or something or whatever when I was a kid. That's awesome. I really hope she has like a good Sphinx deck because I'm pretty excited for this. I just noticed that. That sounds really fun. I don't know if that deck would actually be good, or if it would play anything like it does in the movie, but I really hope she has the Pyramid of Light and just a whole bunch of other cards like that. And her deck is just total, completely themed off of this movie, which would be funny because she's now, what is this, Zexel? And it's like five generations of Yu-Gi-Oh away from that movie, but I don't care. It'd be fantastic. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, of course. Check out the links in the description. You heard me say that a little bit ago. And check out the like button, and you can hit that. Hit the subscribe button if you want notifications of when my videos go live or when I'm streaming or when they get published or anything that I do. Apparently you need to hit the bell button on top of the subscribe button because that bell will like send alerts to your phone and will make sure that my s videos actually appear in your subscription box. Sometimes they won't appear in your s subscription box if you just hit the subscribe button. I don't know why. I don't know what YouTube's thought process is on that that YouTube channels you subscribe to won't be in the subscribe box, but I mean, what do I know? I'm not on YouTube. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, you guys, and above all else, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. Nice. Kaede. Okay. Kaede. Let's not sound like an idiot for the first three streams of this game. We're going to try and get down every the pronunciation of every character. So for the first...